In our previous video, we explained what competition policy was and why it's crucial for the Sri Lankan economy. While the current competition law, the Consumer Affairs Authority Act of 2003, is fairly sufficient to address matters relating to anti-competitive practices, further amendments are required to strengthen the scope as well as the implementation of the law to deal with matters relating to anti-competition. In particular, it needs to be amended to reflect mergers and acquisitions, which are a fundamental pillar of anti-competition law and to provide better protection against abuse of dominance and anti-competitive practices in the country. As we highlighted in the previous video, certain institutional changes need to be made to improve the efficiency of the competition authority, the Consumer Affairs Authority. There is a widespread lack of understanding about the nature and extent of anti-competitive practices and the role of the Consumer Affairs Authority, the competition agency in addressing such practices. CA personnel are uncertain about what constitutes competition and anti-competitive behavior and the extent to which competition law can be utilized for investigating and resolving such cases. Given this situation, it is crucial to enhance public awareness regarding what constitutes anti-competitive practices, the resulting harm of such practices and effective ways to address them. Education is key at various levels. The CAA as an institution, law and policy makers, businesses and the judiciary need a comprehensive understanding of the importance of competition laws and efficient methods of implementing competition law. Educating lawmakers and the business sector on the significance of competition law and its positive impacts on the economy, consumer well-being and confidence is imperative. Judges and judicial officers should enhance their knowledge in competition matters by studying competition regimes in other advanced economies as this knowledge will contribute to making fair decisions. Establishing clear and achievable goals for the CA is essential. The public should be informed how the agency benefits consumers. This approach will not only improve the effectiveness of the CA but also build trust and give the organization legitimacy. The institution as a whole must move away from its image and practice of being an authority on consumer welfare and revamp itself to be a real competition authority. Transparency is another significant aspect that needs attention. There is a lack of clear information about the CAS procedures, investigations and actions against anti-competitive practices. Therefore, enhancing transparency will contribute to boosting the agency's legitimacy and the public's trust in the agency. Improving the enforcement of the competition law is crucial as despite relatively strong competition laws, the CAA has been inactive in enforcing them and curbing anti-competitive behavior prevalent in many sectors in the economy. The agency needs more independence both financially and professionally to effectively carry out its responsibilities. An independent competition authority with adequate financial and professional resources is vital. The power to appoint and remove staff currently lies with the line minister, which significantly impedes the independence of the authority. Transferring these powers to a parliamentary body will restore some independence to the authority. Revamping the authority and make it an appellate body for the country's specialized regulators will also help CAA achieve financial independence by shifting funds from the government to regulatory levies collected by these specialized regulators. Implementing these changes is a step-by-step -step process. While it may pose challenges, the benefits for the economy make it a worthwhile endeavor, especially considering the current context of the economy where privatizations have come into the fore. Privatizations can only be fair and successful in an equitable manner where there is a strong competition law, policy and enforcement. While potential incremental progress is a benefit, the long-term impact on creating a fair and competitive market cannot be overstated. If you are interested in seeing more content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe and follow Advocata on all social media platforms to never miss out on our latest content. Consider supporting Advocata by becoming an individual subscriber. Gain access to our weekday media monitoring of economic news, exclusive Advocata events, and more.
To learn more, visit us at support.advocata.org.